Now here is an example that I do not want to evaluate. They give me my function, the f of x. They want to know what happens for that function at negative 2. So one way to do it is to plug in the negative 2. And I don't want to do that because a lot of people make mistakes with the negatives. So I'm going to use synthetic division, and that's what they're asking me to do. So let's go ahead and set up our synthetic division. I'm going to use our coefficients here. So 6, negative 2, negative 3, and 4. There are none missing. And the number we're going to try in there is going to be right here. It's going to be negative 2. So synthetic division, first thing I need to do, I need to bring down the 6. Multiply. Negative 2 times 6 is negative 12. And combine. Negative 14. Multiply. Negative 2 times negative 14 is a positive 28. And combine. Negative 3 plus 28 is 25. And multiply. Negative 2 times 25, that's negative 50. And then combine to get our answer of negative 46. Okay, and that was actually pretty quick, right? So if I had took negative 2 and I plugged it in, I would get the same thing as with this remainder theorem, negative 46. That is my answer. This function at negative 2 gives me negative 46. All right, if you want to, you can you can try it. Go ahead and try that. And after you do all your calculations, you should get negative 46. Okay, but this is what they want us to do right here. About two minutes, right? Okay.